Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to do the TBT photo tag. Wanted to go through some of my old pictures, talk about them a bit, give a little behind the scenes, and you know, just really have fun, especially for all the viewers and fans out there that always had questions on, you know, what goes on during these photos. One of my actual favorite ones was two years ago at the Video Music Awards at MTV when I was not part of MTV. Yeah, buddy. I wanted to do sexy Elvira Adams family or Tisha look, black on black with a super, super, super long wig. I had a blast. It was the first time wearing a wig. And yeah, I was actually so nervous because I thought I was going to fall off. But it didn't. So we're good. This one. Pre kids. Pre kids. It was actually during a Inked Magazine photo shoot. Bye. like I was living in this photo, like truly living, all booty. We're bringing it back old school j -Row. circa 2010, Miami, season two, Jersey Shore. I was going to club space, and this is actually how I used to dress up at clubs like this. Fishnets on fishnet, neon colors, boo pasties, the microphone guy did not know where he could put my mic. It was actually pretty entertaining trying to get him to figure it out. And yeah, I lasted about six minutes at that club before we got kicked out for fighting. So that sucked and I feel like it was a waste of a pretty amazing outfit. Just saying. So this one is a crazy picture. And I can't remember what magazine it was. But it was actually the first magazine Nicole, Sammy, and I did ever for like press. So it was like an epic moment of, oh wow, are we famous? Like, ooh, we're getting things like opportunities to be on the covers, the magazines. And these are actually my clothes. We ain't paying to put any nice clothes on you, so bring your own. So that was that. Obviously one of my favorite photos of all time. It's Milani and I on my wedding day. She was my flower girl. Precious, precious moment. She has the face of an angel, but the spirit of a devil. And that's actually captured in this picture. My daughter is 100% perfect in all ways, and even her crazy ass attitude. I love it. But on the wedding, she was actually a superstar. This is Teen Choice. We're talking about throwback. I hosted the red carpet for Teen Choice Awards one year. TV, just throwing it out there. If you need someone else this year, I'm totally down. Oh, it was a really, really, really fun time for me, and I got to do that because I did a Fox show called Stars in Danger. Side note, where I um, met Bethany Hamilton, who later on became um, the inspiration to name my daughter Melani because that's Bethany's middle name. So it was like this always meant to be. Like I got to host a red carpet, I met Bethany, I came up with my daughter's name. It's like total full circle, but this one is freaking epic. Horrendous. I'm actually very disappointed in this one because I just had Milani. I was in Mexico for my girlfriend's wedding and I was just trying to live. And someone got this awkward ass photo of me post baby looking like a freaking moo moo on the beach. And you know what really hurt my feelings? It wasn't paparazzi that did this. It was the wedding photographer that was snapping these pictures at a pool and then later sold them. So there you go. This is one of the most epic days of my life. 
I was hosting a rehab pool party, and I'll never forget it. Best friend Joey Texera from Sticky and JWoww came. Right after this photo was taken, I was on stage, and Joey's sitting next to me, and he's like going like this. And he goes, how are you Twittering right now? And I'm like, what do you mean, what's going on? Like, I don't Twitter. And this is at the time where like, there was no Instagram, there wasn't Facebook, there was all Twitter, and like, you didn't have agents and managers tweeting for you. He goes, no, you're like Twittering right now. And then he goes, what? why is your profile changing to a swastika? And I'm like, what is happening? It's Sunday, 4th of July weekend, everything's closed, and my shit just got hacked by like FBI's most wanted. They hacked all my shit, ran through my email, pulled up all my contracts, so got my social security, wiped out four other of my roommates' information, all in a 24 hour period, and during this whole time, they swatted Sam with pizza deliveries and like kicking in the door. It was the craziest week of my life and it all started when this photo was taken is the moment they got into my dumb Yahoo account because I was too lazy to change to Gmail and get a double verification. Oh, Jersey Shore throwback season one. What goes on? That was me. I don't even know what to say. I, I'm pretty sure that was an actual photo shoot where you can see my extensions that did not blend into my hair. Thin eyebrows, blue contact. I'm pretty sure I didn't moisturize my face for six years and kept tanning. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this look, but this was like the thing in 2009. Like it legit was like business in the front, party in the back hair. Like it was like, I would be an ex bad extension me now if this like was 2018. Like this hairdo would be like what not to do with extensions. So yeah, I'm just gonna end my throwback pictures on that note. I'm just glad that I grew up in the 80s and 90s where pictures didn't end up all over social media because then I would have so many more embarrassing ones. So I'm just glad that I only have these right now. So love you a long time. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and yeah, till next time.